Angor Wat, uh, the ruins of a once great city in the Cambodian jungle, uh, which has been restored now in the last, I don't know, 50 or 100 years, and it's uh, a great tourist attraction once again. Um, but it was once a thriving city back, I think, 12, 1300, something like that, and they had a really complex system of canals um, and quite a sophisticated setup that this city was. Um, kind of a marvel of the ancient world. Anyway, it was deserted for some reason. I can't remember. I've, I've, well, I've watched a couple documentaries on it, but I can't remember why it faded out of, into obscurity. However, uh, when they discovered it, they found these the temple complex, probably the most famous piece of architecture within that city, and that's the thing that has been mostly restored. But they've got all these uh, edifices with faces carved right into the, the blocks of rock, which is has a great kind of mystical quality to it. And when I went and Googled it, I got a bunch of my typical images and stuff like that. And these, maybe Eric will actually find the real images and put them up because these are not real good. Anyway, I started sculpting out something and what I saw in the images was the, the restored edifices, which was all put back together really nicely. What I liked was kind of the ruined effect. So I made this little clay maquette getting a good close-up of this. So I just did the Buddha face and uh, I apologize that we're doing another Buddha in this set. Really wasn't my intention but I don't think it's very uh, distinctly Buddhist or Buddha that uh, people are going to notice the difference. Uh, but I liked and I couldn't find any specific pictures of but with trees growing out of the ruined stonework there so I just kind of did a quick maquette with this little tree and the roots and the broken stonework and something like that. So as I am want to do, I am going to color outside the lines on what uh, I was finding for my research material and come up kind of with my own take on this. Also, uh, I'm inspired by uh, the Mayans, the Mayan Riviera, they had a lot of uh, sculptures with faces into the stonework as well. So I'm kind of taking both inspirations there and combining them together and see what I come up with. Now, as far as process, I decided I was gonna do this one with repose and using copper because copper is one of the pieces for the chess set. It's one of the defining colors for the, it's copper and steel. So I decided to do the repose out of copper, which I don't think I've done a video of copper repose yet. It's always been brass or bronze. So you get to see that. I have gone ahead and taken a little piece of copper so I had a piece of sheet of copper here, I believe it's 20 gauge. I just cut out a little rectangle and uh, pounded out a slight dome where the head will be or the face. And then I heated up the copper to anneal it and put it on hot onto the pitch. And it actually melted itself right in so it's being held in like that. So I'm gonna try that as opposed to clamping. This is a more traditional way to do repose. This is a, like the smallest piece that I've done so far. Hopefully my tooling is small enough that I can capture some detail. Also, I don't wanna spend a giant amount of time on this. So I'm gonna go fairly fast and try to dumb down the details a little bit just to try to get uh, a good gesture of what is going on without getting too anal or specific about the details. So without further ado, let's start. Okay, so I've just roughed out the face really quickly. I'm just, I'm not gonna fuss with it. I think that's close enough. I'm just gonna live with that. With that. I think I've captured a uh, slightly Buddhist type face there. I think it'll work. So um, now I'm gonna start drawing in some of the other detail in here and start raising that up.
Okay, so I've just crudely bent this into a box shape, a three-sided box shape, um, and I gotta do some more fine-tuning on there, but I've got a few other things I need to address at this point in time. So, this is basically phase one of this. Now I wanna build the steel base and forge a steel tree and do some filler in there to create the rest of the piece there. So we are only halfway through, but we're gonna totally change directions now and get on to the forge. Phase two, here we go. So I've spent about two hours thus far. I've done the repose and come up with this um, little doodad here and bent it up into a rough box shape. I'm fairly happy with what I've got. I've dumbed down the detail here and I didn't spend a lot of time talking about the repose technique and the, um, the pitch and, and how I'm doing all that stuff and kneeling it. But if you were to go back in my videos and look at the Raven Skull, uh, cloak pin video that gives a pretty comprehensive description of the whole repose process So I will ask you to check that one out if you want further information on that Now as we're moving on to phase two, I'm gonna start doing the seal pieces I've cut out this chunk of scrap that I had here, which I will now forge up and this will become the base uh, probably put like a piece of angle iron in the back here to, to build it in and attach it on there and then I'm gonna start making a tree. So I've taken a piece of three quarter inch square bar. I've done about a one inch split into it and I'm gonna start forging these guys out to form the first fork of the two big roots. And then I'll forge a bunch of smaller pieces and then we will go and tack that all together with the welder after I've forged up a bunch of branches and roots. So I'm just gonna shut up now and get forging. Here we go. All right, so uh, I took some little bits here, welded them onto the base. This fits on there thusly. And then I actually burnt this trying to get it, uh, I was trying to get a little bit more texture on there. I think I went a little excessive on that. Eh, it's an experiment though. So I've got that piece together there. I drilled a hole through here. I'm gonna put a pin through just to hold the whole thing in place. And then I'm going to weld my root on and I'm thinking once I got that on, this thing is not coming back apart. So I think at this point it would be prudent of me to antique my copper. Let's start with that and then move forward. Just getting some gun glue here. Voila! Okay, so there we have it. Now I'm going to put it onto its base. I'm just putting this pin through. I'll probably just trim it off later and just do a little beta weld on either end there to hold it in place, but I just want to get it in place for now and fix a uh, fix our tree situation on here. I don't know if you can see what I'm trying to do here. I've got did some notching and stuff like that. I'm not taking too much caution about getting this fitted on there. You could spend a large amount of time and, and really get quite um, finicky with it and it'd be great. But uh, for what this is, I'm just trying to keep things moving relatively fast just to get a rough idea of what the process is here. 
So now I've got that in place. I have to get in with my welder here. I've got this little stem here in place that is going to be my contact point. I want to get a piece of weld on there, a bit of weld, hold that in place, and then I'll be able to build the rest of the roots. So here we go. All right, I think I'm going to call this one. I'm going to do a little bit of die grinder work and fool around. I might uh, just tweak the uh, roots a little bit. I'm not overly happy with them, but I don't want to get too carried away with spending a lot of time on this one. I think we get the overall effect and I think it worked out pretty cool. So there is our Angkor Wat slash Mayan slash Incan, Olmec, Aztec, whatever jungle ruined edifice um, chest piece. This will be one of the rooks. So there we go. Uh, I will clean this up. Eric's going to do a couple beauty shots, so stick around. Um, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe. And if you would like to support the making of these videos, uh, take a look at our Patreon page. We could really use the support um, where you love putting out this sort of content, but it takes a lot of time and energy. So till next time, there's a couple more chess pieces we have still yet to build. Um, so stick around. We're getting close to the final pieces and building the actual chessboard. So that's it. Back out. See ya!